Here's your latest African news. Africa wide, seven Africans named in Time Magazine's 100 Influential List. Time Magazine has listed seven Africans among its list of the so called 100 most influential people in the world of 2021. Based on their Western standards, the list includes figures from the world of academia, science, activism, and economics. The Nigerian head of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okojo Iwela, featured on the list with other key names on the list including South African Tesla CEO Elon Musk, Beninese singer Angelique Kijo, Cameroonian Dr. John Genkason, who's heading the AU's COVID response team, and Kenyan environmentalist Phyllis Omido, Senegalese writer and musician Philawine Saar, and Ethiopian entrepreneur and food specialist Sarah Menka were also on the list. In addition, there were household names from the African diaspora, including actors Omar Sai and Daniel Kaluuya. What do you think of this type of lists? Do you think it means anything to us Africans? Let us discuss. West Africa West African bloc resorts to sanctions over Guinea and Mali coups. The Economic Community of West African States on Thursday imposed sanctions against the junta in Guinea and those slowing Mali's post-coup transition. The imposition of the sanction is the bloc's toughest response yet to run off military takeovers. The move was agreed at an emergency summit of ECOWAS in Accra to respond to last week's coup in Guinea and perceived slow transition towards constitutional rule in Mali following a coup last year. Regional heads of the states decided to freeze the financial assets and impose travel bans on Guinea's military leaders and their relatives, insisting on the release of President Alpha Conde and a short transition. The bloc also piled more pressure on Mali's transitional government, demanding they stick to an agreement to organize elections for February 2020 and present an electoral roadmap for next month, according to the post-summit communique. Kenya Nigerian separatists sues Kenya of extradition. Nigerian separatist leader Namdi Khan is suing Kenyan officials over what he says was his illegal extradition to Nigeria. His movement, the indigenous people of Biafra, has been labeled a terrorist organization by the government. Kanu, who is now in custody, was detained in Nigeria in June after being flown into the country. But the authorities did not make clear where he had been picked up. His family said that he was originally arrested in Kenya, but the Kenyan authorities have not confirmed this. In court documents quoted in the Nigerian and Kenyan press, it is illegal that his his detention there violated Kenya's extradition laws as well as its constitution. The subject is believed to have been apprehended at the airport on June 19, 2021 and unlawfully detained for several days after which he was illegally and stealthily extradited to Nigeria without his British passport in utter non-compliance with laid-down processes of laws in Kenya, the petition quoted in the Punch newspaper. Zimbabwe Zimbabwe's unvaccinated barred from working Zimbabwe has barred civil servants who have not gotten a COVID-19 vaccine from reporting to work with immediate effect. Information Minister Monica Matsvoengwe on Tuesday said the cabinet had agreed that only workers who have taken the COVID-19 vaccine will be allowed to report for duty. Further, only vaccinated people will be allowed to attend church gatherings and sit in at restaurants. The measures are part of a plan to open up economic and social activities following a third wave of COVID-19, which has been described by health experts as the worst since the outbreak started last year. It is not clear how many of the 300,000 civil servants are vaccinated. The stance by government to force all its workers to get COVID-19 vaccines has inspired similar actions from the private sector, with several companies already barring unvaccinated employees from their premises. Somalia Somalia's president suspends prime minister's power to hire and fire officials. Somali President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed on Thursday suspended the Prime Minister's power to hire and fire officials, accusing him of taking rush and hasty decisions. According to the presidency, there are no working relations between the President and the Prime Minister. Tensions mounted between Mohamed and Robel after they chose different individuals to head the country's spy agency earlier this month. The presidency accused the Prime Minister of infringing the country's constitution by overstepping his mandate. The escalating rift between the two political leaders has caught the attention of foreign missions and heightened political tensions in the country. Foreign missions and the UN in a joint statement called on the two leaders to resolve their differences, saying the rift could derail the ongoing election process. Cameroon African leopard sighting raises hope for their conservancy in southern Cameroon. 
In recent years, ecologists have been able to confirm the existence of species previously thought to be lost from former parts of their range. This is especially important in areas subjected to intense human pressure, which has increasingly left species under threat. In 2019, a research team deployed 19 camera traps in southern Cameroon in a sighting of an adult leopard that was captured in the Campo Man area. This was the first sighting of a leopard in 20 years. Photos showed only one individual, but its presence provided real evidence that leopards still occur in this conservation area. This would make leopards the apex predator in this area. The leopard has the widest range of big cat species in Africa and can persist in a range of habitat types including the savanna and rainforest environments. Population estimates are not known, though numbers in Africa are thought to be declining. A 2016 study estimated the African leopard's range has reduced to 67%. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki for our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch our new show Startup Africa every Thursday on our channel. You can directly support this news series by becoming a YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.